I'm the Beast Manager and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Rusty Planet Pack DLC. Now my friends, today, with some of my sanity back, I would say that it is a good time to start working on some um, long-term projects. You see, um, the, 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 the name of the game is Oxygen Not Included and that is... Uh, a statement that we could utilize for our base, you know, oxygen is uh, quite uh, barely inclu included in our base, so maybe we will assure the future of our colony, you know, permanently uh, by building it a oxygen machine. Uh, I tech oxygen machine, mind you, okay, I've been thinking about this while I was recovering my sanity and I think I have a plan, so that's the plan number one for today. We are gonna build it somewhere around here where it is uh, super cold, but there is nothing in our way stopping us, so we can just demolish an entire biome and not be super preoccupied about it, and uh, after that is done, you see... Well, the gods of Oni were a little bit mean to us, right? They kinda contaminated our beautiful chamber power plant thingy with a bunch of sulfur. But, maybe this is not as bad as it seems. You see, I told you that we would never unplug this thing. However, when I look at this thing, I think this uh, uh, um, achievement uh, checklist, right? What I came to um, realize is that uh, this is the um, how should I put it the final thingy to finish uh, the DLC right to get you finished the DLC achievement whatever right we have the temporal tear we have the uh, uh, archaeology one and the home sweet home one right we have multiple ways of uh, finishing quote unquote the game right home sweet home the great escape cosmic archaeology full steam ahead there we go, you see, I was right, I, I knew it. I I, have, uh, I did not see this part of here before, but I was almost certain. So we have to do it. So, plan, stop the game. I'm wasting too much time. Um, plan, we need to get rid of this. Clear the block to event to maximize the thingy. How do we clear it? It will become useful once the obstruction made out of lead has been cleared by piping liquids that are hot enough to melt it. Okay. Good to know. Now, what am I thinking? Hot enough to melt it, so the temperature coming out of the geovent needs to be hotter than the melting temperature of lead, right? If we go over here, we go into lead, please, 327 degrees. Not the fluid going in, but the fluid coming out. So we know this thing gives it maybe like 200 degrees uh, of temperature. Right, I, well, we, we won't know until this thing goes off. But yeah, roughly 150 to 200 degrees of temperature. So, if we go over here and we put this value close to 200, that should be more than enough to spill that, to, to delete that thing. What fluids do we have that are that hot? Gee, I don't know. Oh, look at that! Look at that sweet liquid sulfur that we have over there. So hot. So tasty. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious, delicious, delicious. So what is that? We have a bunch more over here. Huh. How interesting. I wonder how much sulfur more could I... I don't know. Acquire... Wow, look at that! 12.7 tons. How much do we need? 12 tons. Oh my god. The plan is perfect. We can even help it out a little bit by dropping it, making like a, a tiny little pool over here and uh, let the obsidian just expose to eat it up. However, one of you in the comment section made a, a very good remark. What if we pump it full of glass? Glass is very hot and this is like average temperature. So that could be another way, another avenue that we could tackle this issue. Very, very interesting. But first, oxygen. I heard that breathing is important. Location, location, location. You know, guys, where to put this thing? The map is so big and yet so small. There are so much thingies. Just random garbage. Well, not garbage. Important things. But they are a bit in the way, so they feel like garbage. But the reality is that, uh, well... <sighs> we will have to just uh, try to adapt. You see, like, the ideal position for it would be roughly 
river right here because uh, we have this thing right here it could provide us with the water easily to get that stuff but no no things had to be in the way vital things that we cannot destroy that's fine over here that's where we are going to build it instead we are just going to demolish pretty much a big chunk of both of these uh biomes and just build a big bell and leave a plenty of space for later creating um uh, temperature regulation machines that we are going to attach to our bell so first bell time all right my friends here we go the traditional bell i mean it's still not done it's just a mock-up right just for me to see where things are gonna end up i wish we could just copy entire blueprints like this I think there is a mod for that. In any case, yeah, we have a bell. This time we're gonna build it a little bit different than all the other times. You know, I like to innovate. I'm not, I don't, I'm, I'm joking. In any case, we have five instead of four. Why five? Well, here's the thing, right? We put one, I, can I select a thingy? Thank you. I'm still a bit insane, just in case you couldn't see. In any case, doesn't matter. With one of these things, right, we will be spewing 888 grams of oxygen and 112 grams of hydrogen gas. The hydrogen doesn't really matter. What matters is the oxygen because it's roughly 800 grams. 8 times 5 equals 40, which is roughly... Roughly, okay? We are working with bulk, bullpark numbers here, okay? Just just go with it. In any case, it it is more than 4 kilos of oxygen that we will be producing, right? Which means that these 4 lines, if necessary, will be able to be active at all times. Always uh, extracting oxygen from this chamber. Which, in theory, because there is always a little bit more, you know, from that calculation, this, in, this chamber, in theory, should always be more pressurized than not and so we should not have any interruptions in our supply of oxygen and no i'm not going to use a spawn because i don't like them i like this it's big and stupid like me now in order to control this chamber the automation is actually quite simple uh, the supporting automation will be much more complicated uh, trust me but uh, the controlling automation is quite simple a gas element over here with a filter gate, just in case, so that uh, if, uh, a little bit of uh, hydrogen that just lingers around in here for too long doesn't activate this thing. That way it needs to be uh, just a stable hydrogen for like a 5 second thingy. And then this activates. Meaning no oxygen should go over there, but we all know that's not going to be the case, but I still am hoping that one day this works as intended. But in any case, these things, we know we are going to be uh, uh, over-pressurizing it. I think, I'm not sure, but I think they still utilize electricity when they are over-pressurized and not emitting oxygen. So in order to deactivate them, uh, we'll put a, a simple thingy. This will allow us to, um, well, not one, five. Each one will be controlled individually. Uh, because, you know, these things will create uh, areas of low pressure and uh, the, the gases have a, a tendency to not travel super quickly and so, you know, this will help with that. Uh, so, yeah. Now is just power. And this thing is just to prevent this thing from, you know, siphoning more oxygen than needed, just in case we need to stop it. Uh, we can use the simple automation from these things, you know. We put one right there and then we tell it, hey, please, no more oxygen. Enough, stop, no. Now, I've been, I have been building with a timer on, even though it's only a times one. And, you know, disaster is almost ensuing because we have no oxygen. Because, of course, we don't. That's why we are building this. We have water over here. We need to bring water over there. And that's what I mean by the supporting uh, thingy. It's going to be a pain in the butt because we cannot, you know, bring a ton of water through here. It's super cold. Uh, so we just need to transport it here in, in, in bulk. Right? We'll have these two things. They will have a little bit of automation. It's very simple, I think. Well, it should be. Uh, whenever they reach a certain threshold in the last one, because th this means this one will always be full, uh, we just tell it to stop. Uh, it's just that this line will have to be very big. And then, uh, you know, we still have the automation for temperature and whatnot that I don't even want to think of just yet. Right now, we just need to make them breathe pure oxygen with i believe food poisoning unfortunately this area is already a mess perfect just lovely i will have to bring an extremely expensive pipe it's gonna be expensive 
Okay, it's gonna be extremely expensive. From one away, from one. Oh my god. I hate myself sometimes. Why do I have to build it over here? Why? Couldn't we build it a little bit closer? No. All right. Well, my friends, will we be able to get this thing operational before the, uh, uh, you know, run out of oxygen? I don't know. This thing looks like a lot to ask for, especially because we have to deconstruct so much. Yeah, we will have to deconstruct pretty much uh, most of these existing lines. We are already working on that. We're going to replace this pipe uh, with good pipe, you know, and then... We are just going to destroy everything that uh, is in the way of this pipe. And uh, yeah, we need to bring water from here all the way over there. It's going to be a, like this is probably be one of the things uh, that it's going to take the longest uh, to get done. And in here we'll have to make a small diversion. Uh oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. Through here. And uh, I'll fix that eventually, I promise. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be very complicated. All right, my friends, so given that time is of the essence, well, let's just get this done with, shall we? Probably gonna take a very long time. I don't know if we will be able to sustain our dupes for this long, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. If we get into uh, absolutely, like, a immense trouble, I mean, we'll just figure out something. Uh, just hope I don't have to, uh, to figure out something and it, like... Like, I have an idea. It's a terrible idea, but it's an idea nonetheless. If... Things really are that bad. We have a little bit of rust. We just put one of these things and we deal with the chlorine gas later. Okay, we just put one of these things smack in the middle of our base and then we deal with the chlorine later. But I really don't want to have to do that. Uh, so, um, yeah, let's see if our dupes can get this one done. It's a, a lot simpler than building a freaking power plant, so they shouldn't take three episodes to do it. Alright, my friends, so this thing is almost uh, fully designed. I'm just missing on the power, but I just want a few more materials to get to do that. Now, for the water supply and the automation, I already have uh, placed uh, everything. So the way we are going to do this, right, because uh, temperature is a huge problem, right? Our water doesn't like these temperatures. The oxygen doesn't care. The hydrogen doesn't care. The water, on the other hand, mm, very pesky. So the way we are going to go around that, usually I would put a heat uh, thingy, uh, space heater. Yeah, one of these things, like I did over here, right? Uh, to maintain the temperature of, I don't know, this thing. Which is not working, by the way. Um, just saying. We could do that, or because, well, we don't uh, need access to this particular chamber, we can just vacuum everything out, therefore the temperature of the water going in is the temperature of the water simply put. And it's much simpler, less maintenance, and less power consumption. So, multiple wins on my book. So yeah, up next is just the power missing. Uh, we'll use the good stuff for it this time. No using the... Uh, this scrawny looking wires. No, 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 no. We want the good stuff. It's just that the good stuff is a bit expensive and someone is trapped. Who? How? Hmm? Explain. Explain. You can't. No, can you? Of course not. Why would you? Trapped. Again, pay. Ow. You have an escape route through here? I do not understand. You can't move. Past this block. <sighs> Jesus, please save yourself. These dupes, you know, they love to overcomplicate things. Now, speaking about overcomplicating things, I just thought about something that is going to be overcomplicated to deal with. Well, not really, but it's gonna be a very large risk if this doesn't work. You see, this thing is very frosty right now. Uh, but um, there is a problem. These things are known for overeating over time. They do like to accumulate heat. One way that we usually uh, go around uh, avoiding that is putting irradiant pipes, right? We have uh, uh, the water going he in through here and then we put a radiant pipe going around and that way the water cools off this thing which transmits the heat into the water which is then turned into oxygen and then removed from the chamber. So technically that re the heat is removed from the chamber. But the problem is the very few packets of water will freeze the moment they touch that thing. Because the radiant pipes will be very cold. This thing is very cold. <sighs> Which will force me to feed very toasty water at first to uh, 
attempt to not have it frozen, frozen in the pipes, which has the potential to just go oh so terrible. Oh, it's going to be glorious. I'm sorry, this is private property. You are not supposed to be in there, good sir. Please leave the premises before I, we are forced to terminate your existence. Alright, my friends, all of the uh, parts for our uh, oxygen bell are placed, except for one, which we are taking care of. I always think an, uh, about another one, but for the purposes of the bell itself, all the parts are inside of it, so uh, everything else needs to be built outside. Uh, there is actually multiple parts missing, you know, the thermal regulation, kind of an important one, but not critical one. We don't need it at the present moment. But you know what we need? A way to get rid of the copious amounts of hydrogen that we will be receiving. At first it won't be a lot, but eventually it will be. But uh, a lot or not, we will need to burn it, so uh, yeah. Even if only temporarily, uh, this little bit of here, we're just gonna put a couple of storages and burners, some automation, simple, uh, nothing fancy, and uh, that's pretty much it. However, if you are a regular around here, you know exactly what we are gonna do in the long run with all of that hydrogen, right? Right. But, uh, yeah, I still have, a, have to uh, finish exploring the map, but I can tell you that long run, we are not gonna burn it, we are gonna store it. Hydrogen is important. It is, in fact, the most important resource in the game to accumulate. Okay, because most other resources, you can just get copious amounts of that stuff. But unless you really want to multiply this by a thousand, well, hydrogen is a bit more complicated. You see, you only get a little bit of that every time you get rid of some water and turn it into oxygen. And so accumulating like uh, hydrogen over thousands and thousands of cycles means that whenever we get into the space age, we'll, we, we will have all the fuel to fill up like three rockets. Because it is ridiculous, the amount of uh, hydrogen that I usually accumulate only to see it liquefy and turn into three rockets worth of hydrogen. But those three rockets will be awesome, so we need to store it, you know. And yes, I know, I can just build an infinite amount of these things and have all the hydrogen I want in the world, but I'm lazy and I want to build just one. Liam, you don't have a, bet a better place to hang out? Seriously, you, you guys, oh my god, I swear, these dupes, like, they are idling, because there is no suits and nothing for them to do, really. And the place that they are going to hang out is with the uh, door to the place that is thermally controlled. Oh, the, the freaking colony, you guys gotta be joking, you guys don't have anything better to do, get, get the hell out of there, please. Oh my god, you are a stubborn little bastard, ain't you? Yep, I'm just gonna chill out of here. I better nothing to do. I'm just gonna open the, the door to the reverse fridge 5,000 5, different times. You would leave any dad absolutely insane, okay? Uh-oh, what's going on? Why do we have a repair? Oh my god. We can't ever have good things now, can we? No, we can't. Good things are for people. Ah, <sighs> well, okay. Just chill out. Why did this break without having nothing going through it first? I would like to know. No? Okay. That's totally okay. I'm not going insane. Nope. 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 There is not a huge amount of... Well, you know what? This is actually good, because polluted oxygen is still oxygen. It's breathable stuff, you know? And it gets filtrated and eventually turns into good oxygen. So, it's not terrible, you know? Look at the bright side of things. Ah, okay, so. They like to come in here to get uh, eaten up. I had turned these things off, but maybe, just maybe, it's not the uh, worst of ideas to keep them on for a little bit while, you know, until the base is in a livable condition. In order to make them stop doing this. Everything was fine until they start wandering around, having this thing always on. Look at this. It was at a very nice temperature, and now it's super cold in there. Because of course it is. Obviously, whenever we are gonna have water going through the pipes, you know. Ah, just fantastic. Just fan-freaking-tastic. This thing is about to freeze because the dupes cannot stop themselves from going in there. Great.
Well, let's pretend that uh, not everything is going uh, into absolute mayhem. Then let's get a little bit of good stuff going in. Okay, okay, okay. The game is torturing us psychologically. So that, let's get a little bit of that... Uh... <sighs> What's it called? Ah, oh, man, I forgot. The syndrome about the, uh, the people that identify with their captives. I forgot. In any case, yeah, let's get one of a little bit of that. Ooh, nice. New stuff. Give me more, please. Yes, yes. I like being tortured. Uh-huh. Balloon artist. Splendid. Yeah, it is very beautiful. I like it. That's it? Okay, then. No more food for me, I suppose. Oh my god, Pei. You always... You, you are always the one. Did get herself trapped? How do you manage to do this? And why are we building this out of granite? It doesn't make sense, it doesn't matter. Alright my friends, the chamber has been built. Unfortunately, you see, we have a substantial amount of garbage inside of the chamber, as per usual. And having the dupes just go over there and grab that junk is probably gonna take longer than it took to build this thing so um yeah that's going to be very interesting all right good news the chamber has been cleaned up which means we can seal it off and start vacuuming it out it's gonna take a very long time we already have uh, high pressure vents you know in in the way of the pipe just so we don't store any of this garbage once the chamber has been cleared up uh hopefully this will also be um uh vacuumed out so uh, we just need to wait for those uh, stuff to uh, move out of the way um then we can bring a very toasty water so that we can prime the chamber with a decent enough temperature that nothing freezes and we don't have to do this like open up the thing repair vacuum all over again you know okay so here we go there is no water in the pipe so these ones shouldn't do anything these ones have nowhere to go also the automation is not set so in theory just need to cut this wire over here make sure that thing is not working for nothing you know and bam here we go let me just double check that everything is flowing as it should perfection now we just need to wait for this thing to be vacuumed out okay uh this one is new um okay the vacuum is going okay for a moment i thought we would not be able to get rid of the polluted oxygen but at least we got to see the vacuum uh, activating uh, in real time which is always a beautiful thing when you see like a cloud of vestigial debris just evaporating into uh, nothingness right right there we go in here we should also be achieving vacuum look at that perfect timing this and this at the same time and it's a brand new cycle i think i think i'm not sure but the time might be upon us to just uh start this uh, thing um once and for all let me just disconnect this just for safety you know uh deconstruct this because uh, it is valuable there is valuable resources in there Let's get rid of that so that we can connect the pipe. But most importantly, speaking about pipes, is this one. It is built all the way over here. The bridge is correct. The bridge is correct. The bridge is correct. This one can be connected whenever we want. This signal can be connected and it's green already. Uh, so... Yeah. Let's go. Let's pray, my friends, that this goes according to plan. Because if it doesn't, it has the potential for very nasty consequences. Now, I'm just going to prime the system with a little bit of hot water, not a lot of it. I'd say... I'm going to eyeball it, okay? I want, like, a full pipe length. Uh, this should be enough, okay? Like, uh, we have to, uh, you know, we have to eyeball things. And now, because I don't want things to stop, I want the other water to activate immediately. Go for it. Uh, everything should be built. It, oh, come on. Press the right keys, base manager. Bam, bam. Bam. Come on, we have to go all the way over there. You're going, going. Perfection. Alright, my friends. Fingers crossed. 
that this very toasty water is actually capable of um, not freezing inside of the pipes. Remember, we just want to bring these pipes and these systems above freezing temperature. Once it is above freezing temperature, we are good. It is done. Everything is insulated. The cold should not affect us. Oh, here we go. I... No, 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 no. The pipe must be connected. Quickly. Oh, here we go again, pressing the wrong keys. Come on, come on, come on. You cannot stop in there, otherwise the water will... Okay, okay, okay. Doing good. Doing good, because we also want to eat up the pipe, because the pipe is also super cold. Here we go. Here we go, please. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, okay, okay. It's going. The water... Wait, wait, why did you stop? Disable by automation. No! No, 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 no. Uh, send green signal. If below. I think this thing uh, tops off at 14. So let's go 12. Let's go 12. Copy. Paste. Go! Activate to... Oxygen. Very toasty. Yes! This is exactly what we want. Now this thing has been... Uh, Oh, come on, guys. Guys, 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 guys. This needs to go, like, immediately. We cannot stop the machine after we started it, okay? Okay, electrolyzers. Above freezing temperature. Water in the pipe. Still very toasty. But not toasty enough that it will break everything. Okay, okay, things are going. And now, after it comes the, 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 the less toasty water, but still toasty. You know, enough just... To survive inside of the thing. Now, this wire will stay green until we have 15% of threshold. Why 15 and not 100? Because I don't want water to be trapped in the pipe. So, whenever this thing reaches 15%, it will stop and all the, the water still in the pipe will have plenty of space to be absorbed. Okay. Tense moments, tense moments, until everything, st like, stabilizes, because uh, we need to stabilize this um, thing over here. Okay, pressure-wise, we are stabilizing, we just need the, the hydrogen to stop being a bitch. Okay, the hydrogen stopped being uh, a bit annoying. Connect, connect, connect. This is always a stressful moment. Uh, the moment where things have the potential to go very catastrophically wrong. Here we go. Now I must... A look at this, make sure that the hydrogen is not pulled down. And... The pressure is... N it's going down slightly, it shouldn't. It shouldn't be going down, these things should be more than sufficient. Ah, you see, max gas pressure. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And that's, it's stopping, you know, okay. That's why we uh, are going down, because it is achieving its maximum temper the pressure. Hmm. That's not great. Hmm? Pipe blocked? Why? This pipe should not be blocked, because this is kind of important. Okay, here we go. So yeah, this thing activated for 10 seconds. You know, just to make sure that no oxygen is nearby to be absorbed. This is also good, because uh, the pressure of the hydrogen pushes the oxygen down, so that it, it can be absorbed by that thing, although it uh, creates the conflict area between the two gases to be very close to the electrolyzer, pushing it to be a little bit more uh, closer to the gas pressure, max gas pressure edge. In any case... Oh my god, in to why? What? Oh, am I gonna lose my marbles? I'm gonna lose my marbles? I even put this thing over here to be, like, ultra toasty. No, 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 no. Some water had to be annoying. And the pipe is broken. Guys! Fix! Now! Pipe! Emergency! This thing must work at all times, come on! Now, my friends, we still need to wait for the dupes to finish up the piping into the base. Uh, should be done relatively soon, I suppose. Uh, now, the thing is, this is a permanent machine that will be permanent, permanently be drawing power at all times. Even if it is not work at 100% uh, efficiency like it is right now. What? Um, okay. That's... <clears throat> That's something. I was gonna say... Oh, power, yeah. Even if this thing is not fully um, going at full throttle, it will still be drawing power at all times, right? 
are we uh, is our uh, network or power grid sustainable in this uh, uh, thingy yes it is oh wait is the thing still connected over there yeah that's um maybe let's not do that i just remember that but yeah our power is not going down meaning our like uh one third of power plant that is operational is still capable of producing more than enough power and i think that once this project is 100 percent fully completed and we can breathe easy that we will not suffocate and we will have sufficient oxygen to put into our suits meaning there is always suits for every single dupe you know and those concerns that usually should be dealt with by like cycle five uh, 50, I mean, uh, our reed fibers are also like a problem. We uh, need to transfer this ethanol all the way over there because this thing, yeah, that's another problem. But yeah, once this thing is done, I just want to quickly fix this thing with the things that we have over here and uh, we'll be moving into our power plant and we'll be fixing it. Start uh, to work towards the uh, completion of our final objective, towards the uh, finishing, quote unquote, of the DLC. Oh, oh my god, really? Seriously, you gotta be joking, man. How? God, I'm gonna lose my marbles, I swear to God I am. I swear to God I am. I swear to God I am gonna lose my patience. How did the bit of hydrogen get in there? Ow, ow, ow. Like, I've been looking at this, like, all the time. Never have a speck of hydrogen. Drop below that. No, 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 no. Ah, okay. Relax. It, it, it's fine. It's fine. It's just a little bit of damage. You know what? The dupes can fix it later. It's fine. In any case, my friends, in any case. A bit of damage. It's fine. We don't care. It's working. Oxygen is going into the suits uh, now. So, yeah. I should probably... You know, in hindsight, placed Atmos sensors inside of these things to prevent them from uh, drawing in nothingness, you know. But hindsight is 2020, and I, for I, I always forget to do things. But in any case, we are starting to um, fill up our reservoir, so that's cool. Uh, oxygen is also now being provided into the base. Uh, tasty, tasty oxygen at a decent temperature. Uh, so hopefully, this will also start increasing the temperature of the base. And, you know, I only foresee good things now. Good things. You see, no hydrogen below this line. Ever. And yet, somehow, there is a little bit in there. That's fine. Let's cover our insanity with a little bit of a gift, you know. Uh, come on. Give me the good stuff, yeah, pink. Pink drywall, yes, that's um, very nice. Thank you very much. Great. Fan freaking tastic. It's, n it's still not completed, we still need the thermal regulation thingy, but right now we don't need the thermal regulation thingy, because we want hot oxygen, and therefore, like, these serve our purposes greatly. Uh, therefore, let's move on to the next thing, make sure we don't run out of essential goodies, like reed fibers, which, believe it or not, are essential goodies. Uh, we have some over here, and so... Uh, Jesus, we also have a ton of, of pipes, um, huh, yeah, um, I'll find a way, don't worry. Alright, this also mean that from here on out, Liam will be granted passage outside of base. Look at that, and Abe as well, because Abe, uh, you know, is the chef, he has no purpose in being outside, and we kind of wanted to save the oxygen in the suits for the builder dupes, but hey, no longer is a problem. Here goes Liam on his very first adventure. That is just fan freaking tastic, isn't it? It is. Now the pipe is it done? Yeah, almost. It's it's fine. It's just another pipe to add to the mess that, of pipes that eventually we'll have to delete. Because believe it or not, these pipes, all of them, are temporary. Which is something. <clears throat> now speaking about temporary. Okay, we earned an achievement. Don't know what it is. Doesn't matter. As you might imagine, this thing is not exactly permanent, is it? It was an emergency thing that we had put, to put together. This thing over here, even though it is the cooling loop right now, it's not going to be the cooling loop forever. I built this here temporary, not temporarily, permanently, but with the temporary task of uh, cooling out the power plant, because it's permanent task will actually to do thermal regulation for this thing. We are going to... Ex 
extend this upwards. I would <laughs> you know, sometimes in our brains we um when I'm thinking about things, I, I, I don't remember all of the obstacles. But yeah, we're going to extend this upwards, get more space for stuff, and we're going to thermoregulating it using ethanol instead of polluted water. We just accumulate everything, deconstruct, replace with ethanol, and then cool, chill it off at, uh, to very frosty temperatures. And uh, yeah, that means way less pipes of yeah. And I don't know where I was going with this, but uh, that's... Yeah, oh, yeah, I remember. Sorry. Sometimes. Very confusing. My brain cannot keep it up. This thing, right? It's not, like not going to work towards the power plant forever. So, the objective, or my idea, was that we are going to create an, a, a secondary power plant over here with a bunch of cooling loops, like a bare minimum three, one per each five uh, of them. And uh, that means those three cooling loops will be in their own integrated chamber with more steam turbines on top so that we can, uh, ge not your tune it, but um, uh, do the tune up, engineer's tune up. And that means that um, this thing will generate more power than the aqua tuner is drawing. And therefore, it will be at least almost uh, nullify. It will nullify the. Uh, uh, the, the power constraints of having a bunch of cooling loops is just the materials that's going to be expensive, but power-wise, it will forever just be free. Uh, and that's why I know that many of you will say, why don't you just put uh, things inside of this steam chamber? And yes, that would be a very smart idea. But then those things would cost power, and we could not add any more steam turbines into the lot to draw from that power, you know, from the heat that it will be generating for these ones, it will be neg negligible, because as long as the steam is above 200 degrees, these things are operating at maximum efficiency, and oh my god, please don't do that. Why did you stop? Ah, the pipe was blocked. <laughs> okay, uh, these things, uh, uh, as long as they are above 200 degrees, they are operating at the maximum efficiency, so adding more heat into the chamber would do nothing. And therefore, we can utilize that heat to nullify the power restraint, the power uh, drawn that is going to be, you know, it, it, it's a lot of power. These things are very power hungry. So, yeah, it's a good idea to nullify it. All right, so we have ethanol over there, which was toasty, and now the plants don't want to grow. Understandable. You know, because trying to solve one problem creates another. Typical. Typical. It's fine. We'll get it done eventually. The ethanol is there. The plants eventually will recover. Uh, so... Now that we have oxygen. Now that we have power. Let's f Oh my god, we have another thing in the way. Because of course we do. Of course, I wanted to put it over here. Now, no. God, of course. That's fine. That's totally okay. In fact, I would say... And that's, um, completely expected. Oh well. Anyway. Anyway, my friends. Moving on. <sighs> Let's, um, start working on those cooling loops that I mentioned. One for each of the, 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 the machines now. I can see from this one of here. No, uh, okay, it's stabilizing. It's stabilizing. I was gonna say, I can see from this one over here that uh, polluted water maybe will not be enough, but uh, it's fine, it's fine. It's stabilized. I would rather if it go down a little bit more, but, uh, you know, with three of them going at every single time, and I think I'm gonna um, not have uh, the uh, steam turbines full, throttle, uh, full throttling at every single time, right? We'll be using a little bit of automation to stop them every once in a while. So, yeah. Let's start working on this. Let's focus solely on this and, of course, on getting a bajillion steel because uh, a bajillion is not going to be enough. But uh, if we could get um, close to it, it would be nice. Oh, look at that. We'll be able to. Uh, more obstacles. We have water now because, of course, obviously, obviously, you know, this will... Oh, my God, polluted water as well. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. We'll go through here, break through here, break this water into this pool, and then we'll just go and uh, filter it all and uh, just end up in here. Ah, a bit annoying, but it's fine. That's fine. We have to go over there now. Okay, so over here we are already on going with removal of water. Didn't took too long for them to do it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, should be arriving anytime soon. This mixture of uh, good and polluted water, it's fine, it's whatever. We'll get filtrated and we'll be done with. 
So we can resume operations. Uh, come on, dupes, time to build more. Have you got the steel for another one? Yes, you have. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, if I'm gonna do individual chambers or a collective chamber for all of them. I don't know. We'll see. But for now, I just, you know what, I'm gonna build it over here. So they don't uh, waste the steel on something else. Uh oh. Oh, fuck off. Come on, game. I, oh my god, I'm gonna lose my marbles. Like, I almost cleaned out the entire base. Do you see ice anywhere? I don't. Well, apparently there was a little bit of ice, and now that we have polluted water inside of our freeze. Now that we were almost done with cleaning the entire thing, more things had to melt just to make it a bit more annoying. Ah, <sighs> alright. In any case, in any case, I'm close. No, I'm not gonna lose my marbles today. Nope, nope, nope. I refuse. I already have endured plenty. Yeah, still working on this, on designing this. It's, uh, we are waiting on... Uh, it's aluminum. We are waiting on this water to be um, removed so that we can finish off the design stage. There is plenty for the dupes already to do. And um, yeah, it's uh, probably a few extra cycles until this is done. Alright, now, when it comes to the... Um, wait a second. Oh my god, really? Conduction panels made out of steel, of course they are. Please, go, no way. Oh boy. In any case, my friends, in any case, um, one of you guys suggested uh, that we use these things for the um, chilling out of our aqua tuners. I know, know what, I 100% uh, agree with you on that one. Let's get uh, more aluminum going, because these things are a bit expensive. And yeah, utilizing these things, it will be just much better. We'll be using them over here, we'll be using them over here. I already have... Um, me select the pipe overlay. I already have cut the pipe over here for the uh, thingy uh, short, so that we can start working on this. We'll just have, you know, pipe going in, goes through these things, and comes out. No longer will we need to, uh, like, uh, occupy two tiles uh, to do its effect. Okay, my friends, so the idea would pretty much be something like this for our uh, power plants, right? We have the uh, thingies, the conduction panels to uh, transmit the temperature to the power plant. That way it doesn't matter what kind of gas is in here, because even though there is 8 kilograms of carbon dioxide, right? Carbon dioxide is terrible at transmitting temperature, my friends. Oh my god, there is so much. St come on. Uh, yeah, thermal conductivity, not good, okay? So, um, yeah, hydrogen, much better gas, but uh, the conduction panels are actually uh, also pretty good. And, uh, yeah, this will allow us to kind of organize this a little bit better, uh, although it's still gonna be messy because we still need the pipes for this one and this one to be inside of the power plant, plus the, the uh, exhaust pipes. And then we'll have this over here, this uh, cooling loop, to chill out this power plant and a small battery bank that we are gonna make, like, right here, because, yeah, we'll be storing up a bunch of energy just uh, for whenever we need it. Uh, probably a good practice, you know, and therefore also needs a cooling loop uh, for it. Uh, but yeah, now it's just a matter of curing enough resources. Still, probably gonna be the most difficult. We need 2.4 tons of steel to finish up this project. And also, like, uh, copious amounts of aluminum uh, for all of these things, but uh, the steel, definitely the most difficult one. Well, my friends, uh, in theory, in this cycle, we will do the 50 cycles um, that we usually do per episode, but uh, because we have a difference, you know, from the, what happened in the last episode, uh, we're gonna split the difference. We're gonna add 10 cycles for, to this episode. Because, you know, I think we're gonna need it. And 10 cycles in the next episode, because guess what? I think we're gonna need it. Um, I really want to, um, like, now focus on this fully, now that we know, like, we have enough to eat, we have enough to, to, to breathe, uh, temperature not a problem, like, temperature, I mean. Like, there is nothing immediately affecting us or right now. So, I want to get this finished off, so that we can uh, do it in a way that is 100% permanent and we can forget about it forever. Uh, which means that uh, the uh, cooling systems must be 100% operational, everything must be 100% operational, because we, in order to uh, unblock this thing, will have to do very naughty things to this chamber, and I want 
everything to be working at 100% capacity in order to absorb that level of naughtiness that we are about to um, to do. Because, uh, yeah, if we are about to put liquid glass, a liquid sulfur and a bunch of other very odd garbage into that thing, I'm pretty certain this chamber is not gonna like it. So, uh, yeah, I want everything to be uh, in its best shape possible in order to absorb and deal with that nonsense. And that means very expensive things need to be built. Now, my friends, I can start to see uh, the grew, the uh, the problem grew exponentially in front of my eyes the more pipes I try to build. Oh lord, I already turned off this section of the power plant and transferred its responsibilities over here so that I can uh, deconstruct the its cooling pipe and replace it with something a little bit more, uh, you know, permanent, uh, as we discussed. But man, how am I gonna run so many pipes through here? It's redonkulous. Yeah, the first one is easy. The second one, we are already uh, being forced to do uh, some... Um, very uh, incredible things, <laughs> and uh, for the third one, man, I don't even want to think about it. I mean, actually, it's not that bad, now that I look at it. Uh, we have one going through here, this one is simple, this one goes around through it, and a little bit exposed to the heat of here, not ideal, but the insulated pipe should hold. Then goes through here and backs down up through here, and then the other one, we just go through here, do a, a bit of spaghetti, this thing is gonna be easy, then comes back and goes through the same way this one does. Uh, this one over here, it's gonna be simple, it's just gonna have to transverse this mess over here, which shouldn't be too difficult. And then cool off over here and over here. Easier said than done, of course. Ah, we can now witness, like ignore these other random pipes, we can now witness the... Uh, Magnificence of the spaghetti. Look at all of these pipes. This is just for cooling. Well, there is also water, uh, you know, uh, removal towards the thingy, but damn, oh man, this thing. It's wow, okay. I didn't take. I, I, uh, in my head, okay, guys, this is how usually things go. Usually I'm thinking, okay, how, are, how is going to be our next system? And then you always put like lines like this, oh, it's gonna look beautiful. And then we'll have like lines going like this, it's gonna be super organized and whatnot. And I never end up making things, nothing like that. And instead I make spaghetti like this. It's incredible. But, you know. As spaghetti goes, it's some pretty nice bolognese that we got right here. Alright, my friends, we are about to reach our final cycle. I'm just doing a random research. Oh, this one is still going. Just doing random researches uh, that uh, we might need in the future. But in any case, my friends, this is going to be our last cycle. So let's take stock of our current plan. Because, uh, yeah, I think we might be a little bit behind schedule. We'll have 60 cycles to get this done by the next episode. But we all remember how long this one took, right? Mm -hmm. So we are kind of now trying to modify a project that took forever to build while it's working. And, uh, yeah, we'll have to improve it even further in order to uh, be able to fully optimize its uh, its use. This thing, as I stated in the beginning of the episode, uh, my plan is to put a bunch of these liquid sulfur in there to make the bulk of the fluid. We will then uh, put a bunch of random stuff like uh, glass, which was a very... Uh, a, a very devious uh, idea, I like that one a lot. Just put a bunch of uh, glass in there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Super high toasty glass. What could possibly go wrong? Like, let's spew... <laughs> I don't know if it, this thing is going to spew immediately like uh, glass at, let's say, 400 degrees, because the overall uh, average uh, of the thing, let's say, it's 400 degrees, right? It's gonna spew like solid glass at 400 degrees, or it's gonna spew a, a cloud of gasified glass at, like, close to 2000 degrees. You know, uh, it will it memorize the temperatures of the things and uh, tune them up accordingly, or will it average it all out and uh, spew just like a bunch of... Um, uh, you know, a bit of steam, a bit of gas, sulfur, some solid glass, like spew it straight into the floor like a, a meteor. Who knows, right? That uh, is gonna be something, uh, something to deal with. 
However, in order for us to deal with it, we really need to have this uh, chamber operating at full capacity, all steam turbines going, in order to extract that heat from the chamber. We might even um, uh, siphon off some of these pipes straight into the chamber like for example this one we can just uh, put a couple of bridges over here and just have a pipe go straight down uh, so that uh, this 95 um, is, uh, degree water is used to chill out the chamber that is another possibility all of that we will have to see in the next episode my friends but i'm pretty happy with how things turned out to be i would rather not have this thing right there because it absolutely ruined the aesthetic of this thing and makes piping so much more complicated than it needs to be but overall, I'm pretty satisfied. But well, my friends, with that, uh, what? With that, in, like we still have some freezes into the pipes here, here and there. You know, it's inevitable. The temperature is rising. But well, with all of that said, my friends, I think it is time for us to say our goodbyes. Next episode, we will continue our magnificent construction and hopefully even beat the game how cool would that be but don't worry if we beat the game it's not gonna finish the the, uh, the playthrough i'm way too invested at this moment uh so um i want to get the four achievements done in the frosty planet uh so um yeah but all of that is just for future episodes my friends so with all of that said wait a second please i don't i don't want to forget that I hope that you have enjoyed this episode and that you are enjoying the series so far. If you are, please consider subscribing and help the channel grow. Also, if you'd like to see this series continue, leave me a comment and a like down below. But uh, in the meantime, this is the Beast Manager signing out. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.